Hi, in this video, we're going to show you the basic setup for the ASIR, a revolutionary astronomical product. Even the most inexperienced user will quickly master it. In the ASIR box, there's an ASIR body, a printed quick guide, a 5-volt power cord, a USB to RS-232 serial cable, two micro patches, a 12-volt to 5-volt converter, an SD card, and a card reader. The SD card is pre-inserted into ASIR, so you need only follow the steps below to connect and activate it. Step 1. Remove the paper backing from one Velcro patch and secure it to the ASIR as shown. Secure the other patch to a suitable location on your telescope mount, tripod, or the telescope itself. Step 2. Connect the equatorial mount. Most equatorial mounts are equipped with a serial cable. ASIR comes with a USB to RS-232 serial cable. Simply connect these two cables. The latest Selectron hand controller comes with a mini USB port which has a built-in serial chip. So you only need to connect ASIR via the mini USB cable. Make sure that the USB cable is plugged directly into ASIR, not through the camera's hub. Otherwise, it may cause the equatorial mount to be unrecognizable. Step 3. Connect the main camera, the guide camera, the filter wheel, and other USB devices. The good news is, ASIR will also support electric focuser in the near future. Step 4. Connect the power supply. The ASIR needs a 5V 2.5A power supply. Please use the supplied micro USB cable and DC 12V to 5V converter for 12V power supplies. After the connection is complete, adjust the power alignment. When it's getting dark, you should be ready to image. Using ASIR for DSO photography eliminates all need for a laptop computer making astrophotography easy and enjoyable. Now let's take a look at the functions of ASIR. First of all, open ASIR app. Connect ASIR through Wi-Fi. 5G recommended for maximum performance. Compared with 2.4G Wi-Fi, 5G Wi-Fi is not only twice as fast as 2.4G Wi-Fi, but also not crowded as 2.4G Wi-Fi. It is the first choice for large data transfer. So please make sure your mobile phone, iPad or tablet support 5G Wi-Fi before connecting. After connecting to the Wi-Fi, enter the camera selection interface. Please select the main camera and the guide camera. Input the telescope focal length accurately to the system. Then, in preview mode, set the exposure time, click the capture button to get your first image. Usually, the first shot will not be properly focused, so you need to adjust the focus further. Please switch the focus page for course adjustment. Once the preview of the focus page is refreshed, the latest image will appear. You can move the green frame to choose one star, click the zoom button on the left to focus precisely. And the current max value and the HFD value of the star will be displayed on the right side of the screen. The larger the max, the smaller the HFD, which means the focus has improved. At present, ASIR supports most commercial equatorial mounts, and you can use serial or ethernet for a connection. After the connection is completed, the equatorial mount can synchronize time and location via mobile phone if your equatorial mount is not equipped with GPS. Next, use Sky Safari to control the equatorial mount and go to target. The Sky Safari 5.0 or 6.0 Plus and Pro apps can point your computer control telescope anywhere in the sky. Enter the setup interface and select your equatorial model and specifications. The default IP is 10.0.0.1 and the port is 4030. Click the connect button to connect the equatorial mount. Next, select the target for imaging. 
MA for example. Click the Go To button. Wait for the equatorial mount to finish Go To. Switch to Azure and select the appropriate exposure time for preview. Then check the preview by histogram stretching and color rotation for a good image. Next, analyze the captured image. Please make sure that the input or focal length of the main mirror is accurate. Otherwise, it will affect the analyzed result. After the analysis is successful, the results will be synchronized to the equatorial mount. Usually, one go-to is not accurate enough, so we switch to Sky Safari for the second go-to. Then enter the Azure Preview interface again, expose, confirm that the target is in the center of the field of view. If you don't have a target centered, repeat the steps above, analyze it, sync again, and then keep doing go-to until the target enters the center of the field of view. After the center goal is completed, we can lock the target at the center of the field of view by guiding. Click the Guide button to enter the guiding interface. Set exposure time. Click Refresh. Observe the interface. Select the appropriate star. Click Guide button. Wait for the calibration to complete. Then you can start guiding. If the star curve is too large, try to reduce the longest right accession and declination correction values. Everything is ready. You can start your sequence imaging. Enter the sequence imaging. Create a new shooting sequence. Set the target name and the shooting parameters. And then start. You can specify to turn off Azure or the equatorial mount when the shooting is complete. Finally, we can transfer the image to the computer in two ways. Method 1. Take the SD card from the SR, insert it into the card reader, and then connect the card reader to your computer for copying. Method 2. After connecting to SR via Wi-Fi or Ethernet, you can remotely access the captured photos by entering double backslash SR in the address bar of the file browser of Windows Explorer. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your Azure experience.